<laughs> I love that move. Hey there, I'm Jamin Jackson. You guys remember the pretzel? I remember this move when I first started swing dancing and I just loved it. I don't know what it was about it that just drew me to it. Actually, I do know why I liked it. It was one of those special fancy moves that you always had in your back pocket just in case things were going wrong and you wanted to just whip it out at the right time and blow all your friends away. It's kind of like the classic crane kick. It works every time. Nope. It's only in the movies where Karate Kid can beat Scorpion. But as you gain a lot more Lindy Hop vocabulary, a lot of people like to disassociate themselves from liking the pretzel. It's kind of looked down upon as one of those moves that only beginners do, right? I don't really care what anybody thinks. I still love it. I've actually been inspired by the idea of the pretzel to create new moves. In fact, I came up with a new move that I like to call the tuck turn pretzel. Check it out. I'm in a spot. You'll have to pardon a lot. What's really funny about it, this move looks all nice and polished in that footage. But the truth is, when I originally did this move, I wasn't even trying to create it. You will be amazed what you end up creating trying not to die on the social dance floor. And that's literally how I created it. So if you like to tuck turn pretzel and you want to get some more cool Lindy Hop moves, I encourage you to take my free course below. It will give you a sample of all of the new Lindy Hop moves that I'm coming up with and sharing with our Street Smart Swing community. We've got terabytes worth of content that I am putting online for our community. So I hope you like this free class. If you liked what you've seen today, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get more information on swing dancing, swing music, and swing history. I look forward to seeing you in class. Take care.